begin. All right. So I'm arguing against the repeal of the Endangered Species Act, and that's something I want to make sure that um, you realize. I understand the legislation does have some shortcomings, but it would be a tragic mistake to undo this monumental act. Um, under, of like, like it has gone, undergone in the past, I believe that we should um, amend it in one way or another to kind of adjust the uh, treatment of those private landowners. So quick background info. It was passed on in, 17, in, uh, excuse me, in 1973 in order to protect these endangered species from, the development, um, from human development. It has been heralded as the single most important facet of the environmental movement, ensuring that those, spe those at-risk species are given the chance to recover. The act is making use of its power. There are currently six, over 1,600 species listed, and three quarters of those have an active recovery plan. The act is also effective. Over the past four decades, only 10 of the listed species have actually become extinct, and eight of those were believed to already been extinct previous to being listed. That translates to a 99% success uh, rate. Scientists estimate that this uh, number could have been greater than 220 if not for the act. And as it was stated up there, the public is um, adamantly pro, pro the act. But why should we care? This time period that we current live in, currently live in has been called the, uh, the sixth great extension, extinction caused essentially entirely by the development of human industries and sprawling societies. Does it deserve such a, a, tr a drastic name? Yes, basically. Um, the real rate of extinction should be about five species a year, but in this case, we have brought it up between 1,000 a a thousand to 10,000 fold. Um, to put the fragility of the ecosystem into perspective, as we talked about earlier in class, if you just look at the honeybees, they've been dying at an alarming rate in recent years due to the combination of increased use of pesticides and desire for a larger, larger crop yields. They provide vital po pollination um, that leads to the chain of events having us rel giving us relatively easy access to multiple types of fruits, vegetables, and nuts. While the bees currently are, aren't listed, I bring up this example to showcase how we can't always comprehend the impact of species becoming extinct, as this is just a threefold domino effect. And if we look back, you can see a, even a microorganism that could eventually impact uh, society as a whole. Um, being able to study animals is also incredibly important when figuring how, how a species body adapts to certain advers adversaries and then trying to apply that for human use, such as immunities to poisons or using the application of, um, of bears surviving during hibernation. Finally, I believe, as many as I'm sure you do, as, many, as I'm sure many of you do, that we have a moral obligation to help protect those who cannot protect themselves, especially given the fact that we are the ones causing the damage.